Well, hello everybody, Laguna back here. We are getting into opposing force. Now you're probably gonna see this as a string of um, four days in a row, but uh, I plan on getting through this straight through. Um, so, when we were playing before, there was a bit of a glitch that happened and I heard that there was a good way to get that issue resolved. Now, the best way that I, can thought, I could think of was, once this loads, is that if I can't crouch through that pipe to get through the level. Here we are here from before. I'm just gonna turn down my headset just a wee bit. Just being a little loud. There we go. There we go. So before when I was here I looked at the radio station, blah blah or radio device. Blah blah blah. Cool. Whatever. And when I was oh for fuck's sakes. There. When I came in through here... Oh, Jesus Christ, that's still fucking blinding. It was this right here. I kept getting stuck on this. So if I hold crouch when I go through, my character will stay crouched the entire way through. And that's what my problem was. That's why I was getting stuck on the, um, the thingamajabi. So hooray! Thank you, Valve, for having such a shitty programming that your character will get stuck in a pipe at the uh, the checkpoints. Hooray, Valve! I'm, I'm kidding, Valve. I actually do enjoy this game. It's it, it just bothers me when stuff is programmed in a way that will um, set you up for failure. Oh, well, this is a great start already. Um, should I... Yeah. Now this is looking a lot like a uh, pit beast thing from before when I was uh, having to throw the grenades around in Half-Life 1. At least that's what this lever reminds me of. As far as I can tell, there's nothing in here. Oh. Well, hello there, you guys. I can't help but wonder if any of the other Half-Life games, I should probably go in with a better weapon equipped, um, have Adrian Shepard in there, or is this just only for this specific... Oh, there's the Pit Beast, too. Oh shit. Now, can you be distracted like the other ones? Oh shit, you can get lasers too? Crap. Um. This is the part I don't know what I need to do. Oh shit! Well, that was my fault. I fucked up on that one. Cool. At least we know what's down there and what we need to do. Not so bad. Okay, fine. I guess I can't get through there. Um... Ooh. Okay, so I need the gearbox and the valve. Cool. Let's 
we'll start with the valve. It, feel, it feels like a good thing to start with the valve because, you know, this game was made by valve. So we'll, we'll put them first. That was the dumbest logic I've ever possibly put into a game. And they pause. Ooh. Ooh. Did that do? Hmm. Ooh. 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 Motherfucker. That was close. Motherfucker, stop it. Haha. <laughs> Cool. I'm trying to, like, hear for head crabs and stuff like that, because you know how badly the head crabs scare the shit out of me. Um... Okay, I can hear something. Maybe I can't. Ooh, maybe if I were to... Hmm. It seems to me like, oh, actually, wait. Haha, <laughs> I know exactly where this is going. That uh, was the Tesla Claw. That's the Tesla Claw. There we go. Fucking really out of order? Fine. I'm going to be painfully Canadian and have some Tim Hortons coffee. Yeah. Which is actually just a liquid ice cap. And for those of you who don't know the magic of an ice cap, I feel so bad for you. In fact, anybody who I end up hanging out with here, who, like, gets involved in the community, I'll probably end up getting you an ice cap someday. Because that is like... Canadian delicacy. But anyway, here we go. We're back to the pit room. Alright, fuck that guy. Wait a sec, am I not supposed to be down here? Oh, there we go. I feel like I've gone the wrong way. Maybe. Okay, apparently I did neither of the two things that I came here to do, so that's always fucking great. Okay, so I see pressure valve over there, which I have no idea how to get to. Hmm. Just quick load. Is 
think I know how to do this. But I want to be at maximum health before I do it. Oh, actually this way. Oops. Okay, oh, crap. Oh, wait, I remember now. Wait, no, this is not the right way. I am lost. Maybe if I do this. Crap. 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 Maybe that was the valve. I... I don't know. I'm really lost for... Ooh, that was the valve. Oh shit, I died. Okay, at least I know what I need to do now. Knowing what I need to do is half the battle. Okay, there we go. We're getting there. Crap, wrong way again. Fucking Christ. Okay, gearbox. That's what I need next. These are the cool puzzles. I, I actually... I almost said physically enjoy these puzzles, but I, I genuinely enjoy these puzzles. I think the, uh, the pitworm nest is going to be the... I think it's not like a defining factor of this game, but... The defining puzzle that's like just summarizes everything that Half-Life... Ooh, I wonder. Oh shit! I didn't actually expect that to work, but I'm kind of glad it did, because... Ooh! Um... Ooh! Now this is an interesting puzzle. I was actually worried for the life of me that I was not going to be able to get out of this, but this is actually kind of cool. I like that I had to do a mad dash down the hallway just to get out of this blub blub situation. Come on. You can do it. You can get closer. I'm letting you get closer. Come on. Oh shit, it's still coming. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Coming. Uh, <laughs> I never said I was a um, innocent person. Let me see. Bye you. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, that's kind of cool. Cool. So that's fun. Now I need to make my way back up. That's not the right way. 
How about this way? Yes, this is the way of the ladder. Cool! So that was actually a really interesting puzzle. There we go. Eh. Here we go. Oop. It's doing the thing again. Okay. So that was a fun little puzzle. That, that was actually a really fun puzzle. I enjoyed that one immensely. Um, that's going to be a really cool screen capture too for the, the title card. Having a little pit demon go <clears throat> falling into his own stuff. Not his own stuff, but the toxic stuff. But oh, I'm actually pretty happy with that one. That was a that was a nice little puzzle. There were some buttons that I I was like, okay, cool. I pressed it. Now I can run back. And then just, it didn't work. There was there was more to it. There was more that I had to do. Um, so that was that was cool. Nothing too much to say about this video though. It's just kind of cool running around. I hate though how like you don't get like any. Okay, I like. Okay, this is like a love hate type of thing. I genuinely enjoy the reality of the fact that the monsters can hit you at any point. But sometimes I hate the fact that the monsters can get you at any point. Like that. Like, why does he have a laser beam that attacks you? Why doesn't he just have swiping? Sure, that makes it more difficult and therefore more challenging and therefore more exciting. But it's like, what's the science behind these laser beams? Actually, what's the science behind any of this? Um, It's less about the, the difficulty of the game and more about the survivability. Because uh, there's some points where it's like, on hard mode, is he going to like one-hit kill me type of thing? I just don't know what's going to happen there. I don't know, maybe I'm just ranting and rambling. But anyway, to the next one. Foxtrot Uniform, which is probably followed by Charlie Kilo.